All right, let's talk about tying your belt. There are three ways that you can tie your belt. Now I'm using this just so it's easy to see on a camera. Sometimes if I tie a black belt on a black uniform, black background, it's difficult to see. So I'm using this so it's easy for you guys to focus and see. First thing we need is to get the center, the dead middle of our belt. Now what we do with the dead middle of that belt is we put it on our belly button or on our waist all the way. Now I'm gonna take the belt behind me and we'll cross it over at the back. We'll bring that all the way through to the front and make sure that both sides are even. Now that we have those even both sides, my left hand goes first, my right hand goes on top. So I have this X pattern. That top hand, or the top part of the belt, will tuck underneath everything. So it will go from bottom to top. Now I can tighten this however I need it. That top bit now will go over the top again. We'll use that same top bit, top bit's doing all the work, to come through the middle from bottom to top. And now what we can do is we can adjust our belt, cinch it nice and tight, and when it falls, we're nice and even to have a good even belt. Okay, the second way we're gonna do, we need our same belt obviously. This time, we don't take that centre line. This takes a little bit of practice. What we do is we take it round the back and we experiment over time how long our belt usually is. So if my belt is usually this long, I put that bit where the knot would usually be on my belly button and the long side on my left hand. And I put it on top and I wrap it all the way around the back. What I like about this version is when I tie it all the way around the back, there's no crossing over here. It's nice and neat and even. So that top bit, again, tucks underneath everything. And we're back to our X pattern again. The top section turns over the top. So we're doing this and this. Top section, still doing all the work. Tucks underneath, we make our knot, and with some practice, we have it as even as we can get it. One side represents the body, the other side represents the mind, and they should be even and in balance. So our last way of tying the belt is a little bit more complicated, but it stays on for a lot longer. So just like version two, we kind of work out how long our belt is usually gonna be, and we wrap it around the back, nice and evenly to the front. That front bit tucks underneath everything as normal. Now here comes the difficult part. The first bit, this side, I will turn it and tuck it down. So I'm going between both layers and I leave a little gap. Now the first bit, this bit, is going to go up and through that gap I just made. When it goes up and through that gap, I now again again put it down in between both. So I end up pulling and adjusting my belt to that position and we can kind of adjust and play a little bit until we get them even and we have a good knot spread and that is very unlikely to come off during your training.